My name is Paul Govro. I'm a professor of civil engineering at the University of Toronto. I belong to the structures group. My research deals primarily with bridges. Uh, we're interested uh, in three primary threads that go through all of the research that we've done uh, over the past years and continue to do. One of them is prefabrication. Prefabrication because that um, allows people to build quickly. It allows people to maximize the quality of construction. The other is new materials because new materials have always been the primary enablers of innovations in structural engineering. So the materials people came first, they did some interesting things and we as structural engineers then um, tried to find ways of using those new materials. We've seen that since the beginning of modern engineering uh, in the early 1800s. And then using materials together in new ways, people refer to that as composite structures. And so um, even though we know concrete really well and we know wood really well, we don't really know how they work together and if we can find ways of making them work together to create new opportunities for structural systems. Although I'm interested in bridges of all types and of all kinds, uh, lately, I've been concentrating on concrete bridges or bridges that involve concrete in some way. And um, I like the small bridges because uh, we build them a lot. And so in terms of the potential to do some good through the generation of new ideas and validation of new ideas, that's where the potential is because we build those bridges day in and day out. One of the things I'm interested in with bridges um, is not just the way they carry load, although that's very important and I'm very interested in it. But connected with that is the way the bridge looks. Well, the ideal for me is a bridge that is a very efficient structure, but which somehow can rise above that and be in, endowed with some kind of visual significance. I'm interested in these ideas that, that will combine um, sort of efficiency, economy, and create the potential for, for new visual expression. We've been involved with the development of a um, what we call a double T section. So it's basically a deck slab and then two ribs going down like that. And it incorporates a technology called um, precast segmental uh, bridge technology. Uh, you could almost imagine a um, loaf of bread. Uh, so you've got a loaf and you've got slices like this and you can take the slices apart. So basically each slice is created um, separately and then you can bring the slices together uh, on site, support them temporarily, post-tension them together and then the whole loaf basically um, stays up. I use this little demonstration here for my students. These are loose segments here and there's a little thread going through and when that thread is put under tension then it puts the little segments in a state of compression and that's the, basically the principle, that's how they stand out. And so each one of these little segments of the bridge is, is, uh, is prefabricated separately. So it means relatively small, easy to handle, easy to work with. We think of concrete as a material that is very good in resisting compression, but not at all good in resisting tension. But with the addition of um, steel fibers, uh, it does become a material that can um, resist tension reliably. And so that, we believe, is a real game changer. Now you've got a material where you, you can say, well, tension is pretty good. And so what do we do with that? And what are the opportunities that creates um, for rethinking the structural system? We've looked at, at this material from a very, very small scale in developing mixed designs for this material and validating it at the very, very small scale and then using those results to develop uh, an understanding of how it behaves in um, sort of larger scale structural systems, beams, columns, slender compression members, we've studied that. And then the other thread is different materials together um, and seeing what, what potential that creates for, um, for, for new structural systems in bridges. What we're doing now, is, what you're studying now, is, is how these things behave together, how you can transfer shear basically between the two components. And we're looking at various details, trying to characterize the mechanical behavior of 
these various details for connecting the two materials together. Once we have that characterization, then we will be in a better position to uh, start thinking about structural systems with them, um, based on, you know, really a much better body of knowledge on how these materials behave together. Sustainability is um, different for bridges than for, say, buildings. There is zero operating energy associated with bridges. In terms of the actual design of the bridge and how does sustainability enter into that, there's two areas that we could consider. One of them is just the basic efficiency, the use of materials. Obviously a bridge that uses can cross a given span and carry a given load but uses 25% less concrete, well we could say that that's somehow 25% more friendly to the environment than um, the other alternative. The other one is the notion of, of um, durability. There are all sorts of bad consequences for the environment when you design and build bridges that need major reconstruction work during their design life. I believe that is significant for sustainability also because there it's not just the materials that we have to throw away and replace but it's also all of the environmental impact caused by detours and people idling their engines unnecessarily and things like that when there are delays during unnecessary major reconstruction. Every bridge that's there is a picture I've taken. Many of them are bridges I've worked on. Photography is a way of uh, communicating to students. It's a way of sharing with them examples of bridges that I consider to be significant. I joined the U of T in 2002 and it's been a wonderful experience for me thus far because um, I get to work on all of the new ideas that I've ever wanted to work on. Um, I get to work with really bright young students. I have the sense that I can have an impact on the profession not just through the um, new knowledge that we create through the research but also by uh, helping to open the minds of these bright young students and seeing them move out into the profession and to become the next generation of uh, bridge design engineers.